and I was just hearing. I was just now I woke up this morning now. What I can do with my left hand, I can do with the right hand. They are now Amen. I Amen. 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 I'm trying to tell us that if God has done this, obviously all the people we prayed for yesterday, there will be answer from the monarch of Zion. Expect your miracle. Your answer, expect your intervention. You will testify in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's thank God this morning. Amen. Lord, for answers to prayer, let's honor the Lord. Let's exalt His holy name. Giving mm. thanks unto the Father. Father we worship you. We bless you. Of the hearing of the light, you are delivered from the power of the darkness. Thank you, God. You confirm us. Let us be the light for this morning. We are with you. Before you are, you are with us. Jesus <laughs> Father oh, God, now we bless you. Thank you, Lord. We say glory, honor, Lord. Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord. Oh Lord, God, now thank you for all Jesus, you. Jesus, you. Amen. 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 At this time, we want to go before God and want to play before Him. He will hear our humble prayer. If there are things that will stand as an impediment, we know the story of that man, the high priest in the Bible, named Zechariah. We saw what happened to him in Zechariah chapter 3, and we saw the, the devil was just resisting him. Satan was standing at his right hand. And you know, right hand symbolizes authority and power. And then the right hand is very symbolic. And then he was standing at his at, at the right hand and he was resisting him. It was it was a very symbolic thing. And then not the left hand, but the right hand. Of course, even Yoruba people, they don't play with that. Now coming to what was the reason why Satan was resisting him. We're told, eh, as you look down to that verse of scripture, that he was clothed with filthy garment. No wonder it was the filthy garment the devil saw. When the devil wants to get into a family and he's not able to get into it, what the devil does is to bring in defilement into that family or to bring in any crack. He does to create a crack in the wall. It is true that God, it cannot begin to carry out it and say, Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, every step, every spot and wrinkle, every impediment that in our heart, may the Lord yank it off. Shall we go to the Lord in prayer? Please, I want to quickly, uh, my data is uh, finished. Let me quickly subscribe to data in case it goes off. I will come back immediately. So let me pray while I quickly do my. Father, we pray that you will visit us in a special way. Every crack in our lives, in our family, we pray that you will see them up this morning, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, the King, we lift up our eyes unto you, unto the thief from west cometh our help. Our help cometh from you, O oh Lord. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will lift up every crack in our lives. Father, in life, O Lord, of every and O Lord, in our eyes and all the eyes of the nation, O Lord, of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, O Lord, praying and telling the Lord there will be nothing for the nation, in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, Oh, 
and he was like, have I taken this? Have I defrauded any? Have I done this? Have I done that? And the people said, no, you haven't done this. And he said, the Lord be a witness between you and I. We want to pray right now that our wife will look at us as men. And our wife will not see any other thing to say that this, my husband, is a little cry. I was talking to a group of people on a platform. And I until your wife, the closest person to you on earth, see Christ in you. You have not started. You are just a beginner. I was challenging the people. Forget about the name they are known, you are known with outside. Forget about all those nomenclature and tie it to the gift to you outside. Oh, apostle, man of God, this one, that one. If the people that are closest to you can't see Christ in you, can't see, and they see that their behavior is completely different from the outsider, then the person has not started at all. And so we want to pray every defect in our life that is making us not to have enough impact and influence on the whole, any stain and blemish that the devil can capitalize on in our character. Anything that is not of Christ, anything that does not resemble Jesus in our behavior, in our demeanor, in our communication, in our lifestyle, let the blood of Jesus that was shared at Calvary, let it avail for us this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall we talk to God in prayer? That the blood will avail, the blood will be applied to our hearts, our souls, our spirits. I'm waiting for that. I come before you in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray for that. Make my life blameless. 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 till now. 
and he knew what happened. He knew what transpired. He knew how Eve was deceived. But does he have any issue with Eve? The earth was the issue. Where art thou? Many people, that's the question God is asking in the Bible. Where is the head? Where is the man? Where has he gone to? And you find many people in very in serious, uh, in very prayer houses looking for solution. And, uh, and then you wonder, they are head, where are they? Where are they? And then they are not able to stand as the gatekeeper. And then the devil is buffeting that family because the gatekeeper that ought to watch, that ought to stand, that ought to intercede, that ought to stand the age for the family is nowhere to be found. We want to cry unto God, my father. We will be two gatekeeper in this. We will be two gate watcher in this. Oh God, make me a two gatekeeper like Father Abraham. Do you know what God told Father Abraham? Shall I hide the things which I'm doing? Shall I hide the information for me? Shall I not reveal to him what is about happening? Shall I not reveal? Oh Jesus, make us a watcher in this. A watcher to our congregation, a watcher to our family, a watcher to our community. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the Lord make us a watcher. Let the Lord make us a watcher. Let the Lord make us a watcher. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Here in Delta State, here in Delta State, my mother, I said to be precise, even though I'm Yoruba, my father's side. Delta State, my mother's side, they is actually a family that they have this affluence, money, to all these they are they gay, whatever, and all that. And so I came from a family that you can say, okay, they are politi uh, politically inclined and all that. Even the person who sponsored me in education before now and all that was a local government chairman, even going for us of prep and all that. But do you know what happened? This particular young man is not a Christian, but every other thing you can think of in this life. He has it. That is, and what I mean is, if it's Oyibo, he did. If it is money, he has. The situation is not the same again, though. Things have come, a lot of things have happened to them, but here is where I'm going. In one of the, one of the most dreaded youth in my area, one of the most dreaded youth, when I mean youth, he became even the PA, uh, is it PA, the Codex, special advisor to the governor on something, something, a dreaded youth. Youth, all those ones, they have done a lot of havoc. But this was what happened. And it happened to be an enemy to my own cousin. That is uh, my cousin, and first cousin. But one night, I, I wasn't sleeping at home. I was sleeping somewhere. I saw how this my cousin was executed, was killed. Uh -uh. I didn't know what was happening. Because even though I belong to the family, you will not even know that. Ah, is this your family? Except I tell some, although some people know. But you will never know because I'm more of this church person than like family person. I'm more of church person. Church, church, school, church, school, church, school. So you don't know me more. Except sometimes I'm not like, oh, that's my family. Are you sure from this family? And then, then what happened? God revealed to me. Then I forwarded the message to him. By 5.39 a.m. Oh, I still remember the time. I still remember the time. I forwarded. Look at it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, knowing that it was his enemy, uh, the other person who was his enemy, that was killed. And I never knew. That same time, that, that midnight, they killed him. But I was not telling people, well, this is not the person I saw. This is the person I saw they killed. So what's happening? Then I understood. Yes, I've been praying for the salvation of these people. And uh, so when I now saw another issue of death again, I was forced to have to now minister to him because it was not clear that maybe God was passing a message to me. Do something about this person you are close to. I want to pray that we will be a, a gatekeeper indeed. God will be revealing things to all, revealing things to all about our family. Things will not just be happy. And we will not be good for that we have. Pastor, can you pray? Pastor, can you talk to God? God, our we come before your throne. We bring our family before you, Lord, for our children. Make us to get the power in the name of Jesus. Let our family, O Lord, I come to you. I'm bringing my family members to you, so that close friends to you, Lord. And I'm willing to be a gatekeeper, a watcher in the spirit. I stand for them. 
upon my heart. I will love you as long lend me grace and lend me power. I will love you. But because of definition by Zewa, definition by Telemundo, definition by Nollywood and Bollywood and all those who they define love in another way. And unfortunately for our young people, they go the opposite direction. They go up target, not understanding that love is commitment. Does it mean that every time is when I feel love towards my wife? There are times you just, you're almost like, ah, are you single or how does it look like? But you understand that you make a commitment. And you still remember how you stood before God's servant on that day. In, in this, I will love you. In that, I will love you. It's a commitment. It's a commitment. The earlier many people understand it, the better. That I will. When I got married, the state pastor came to my house. The state pastor, campus state pastor, came to my house with the wife. And then the wife told me, I think whether the husband said the same thing, but I remember what the wife said, one of the things she said. And she I said, said, each of us should make a decision that this marriage will work. That is, I, I will take a decision by myself that in spite of the decision of my wife, this marriage will work. My wife will also take an independent decision. So we are taking the decision. So our being serious in the marriage is not just dependent on one person. For example, maybe she, did, she misbehaved now. I don't I have that right, right to misbehave too. too. I correct the misbehavior. All the implications of the devil into the earth. We cut off the hands of devil in our home. We destroy the hands of Satan in our home. We bury the hands of Satan in our home. Our own be a healthy home. Yes, love is a commitment. Love is not just a feeling. We love God in our own way. For us to truly practice love in our homes, Father, we pray, grant unto us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, and yes, we are asking you to answer for your protection against all the that love is not just a feeling, but the enemy. a commitment. The grace of our Lord to be committed to all the family life, Father in heaven, and all the attacks of the enemy. Oh, Lord, come in the name in of Jesus' name. Help us, O oh Lord, to be truly committed to family life, O oh Lord. And you close in all the doors. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, Lord, you the enemy. Lord. May you close them by the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 Pastor Mike, can you hear me? Please, for the next 10 minutes, you can take us, just take us in this direction. All the infiltration, all the manipulation of Satan in home to scatter home, to destroy home, and all that, all the manipulation, all the all the things that are happening. Pastors are seeing a lot. Couple coming for counseling here and there on different issues, on different things. And then sometimes you know that this one is not ordinary. And the divorce has increased so much everywhere now. Separation is the order of the day, and a lot is happening in family. People are just enjoying marriage instead of enjoying it, and it's not the perfect will of God. And so, please, Pastor Matthew, uh, Pastor Mike, before you hand over to Pastor Matthew, over to you now. Take over, and let's make a serious declaration as I prepare for my work here. Thank you so much, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray based on what our pastor has said. We want to pray for our family. Uh, beloved, before we pray, I want to thank God for the way we have, we have been praying. Our pastor has been leading us. A lot of things are happening in the family. Just as he has said, families, marriages are supposed to be enjoyed. But a lot of people are enduring it. But we want to pray. There is what we call the milk and honey that comes from the throne of mercy. We want to pray, oh God, in every family, 
in all our families, brothers and sisters, members of the church, workers, leaders, who oh God, I pray, drop the milk and the honey in our families in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, yeah, open your Amen. mouth and fire the prayer. Oh, we call upon God. Upon God. Oh, oh, God, I pray in every family. Let the milk and honey, let the milk and honey drop in our families in the name of Jesus. The joy that has disappeared from our families, let that joy appear. Go to the name of Jesus. Let the joy, the joy and the love go to the name in our family in the name of Jesus. God, I pray, share the wine, the wine of love, the wine of love that has disappeared in our family. Oh God, we are the wine in the name name of Jesus, the, the Lord, Lord, the joy, Lord, the happiness, the togetherness, the harmony, go and bring it back. In Jesus' name, we pray. Jesus' name, we pray. You know what the Bible says? Jesus said, an enemy has done this. An enemy has done this. There are some things that happen in the family that are not ordinary. And so we want to pray. The Bible told us in the book of Isaiah chapter 58, he said, on doing, is it not the will of God? Is it not the fact that I have approved to undo wickedness? Wickedness. We want to pray. Every handwriting of the devil in our families, in the name of Jesus, we undo it. In Jesus' name, open your mother upon God. Open your mother upon God. Open your mother upon God. We want in the name of Jesus. Of the devil in our family, we wipe it with the blood of Jesus. We wipe it with the blood of Jesus. We wipe it with the blood of Jesus. Who go we pray? The name of the Lord will be glorified in our family. In the name of Jesus, who go we pray? Have your way in our family. In the name of Jesus, whatever the enemy has done, every handwriting of the wicked, every other influence of the devil in our family. In the name of Jesus, we are victorious. In Jesus' name, we pray. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Beloved, it's not an oversight. You know what happens in the world. That the world is full of wickedness. That's why the Bible told us that the Lord will, David said, he said the Lord will bring an end, put an end to wickedness. Even in the GS message, I think on Saturday, also told us that God will put an end to wickedness. We're going to call upon God. You see, in some families, Satan wants to scatter. Satan does not, have, does, not, does not like a happy family. It is not the interest of Satan that husband and wife will love each other, will be together, that every day of their life will be honeymoon. That's not the will of Satan. Satan wants to spoil. He wants to destroy. That's why the Bible says he has three-point agenda, to kill, to steal, to destroy. destroy. We won't go to call upon God. You see, this prayer we want to pray now, please. If not because of you, pray for somebody. Somebody is passing through hell. Somebody is passing through hell. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. And we're going to pray. You see, in some family, the enemy will go. They will take the image of the husband. They will go to one house, one dirty house. They call it the house of Abalis, the shrine. And the abbalists will take the image of the man. They will take the image of sometimes they even get a picture of the man and the woman. And they will see where they are together. And they will tear that picture apart. They will tear so that the husband will be apart, the wife will be apart. Sometimes they take the image. They tie the image. They tie the man to another woman. They tie them mm -hmm. together. And they put them inside one calabash. And they see that calabash. Sometimes they invoke the spirit of the man or the woman. And they invoke it into a bottle. 
all of a sudden you, you begin to see that the woman begin to misbehave the man begin to misbehave and the man cannot get himself the man cannot understand at other at other time they shoot arrows 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 into the family the arrow of destruction the arrow of separation the arrow of irritation that man is just irritated easily we want to call upon god we want to pray oh god whatever arrow that is working in our family arrow of the devil arrow of separation arrow of irritation arrow of divorce arrow of lack arrow of disease arrow of sickness in the name of jesus the bible says i shall decree pain and it shall be established every arrow wherever you are hiding wherever you are hiding in the wife in the husband in the children oh yeah 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 come on in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and fire the prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Everywhere arrow is hiding. Everywhere arrow is hiding. Open your mouth and call upon God. Let that arrow jump out. Let it jump out. Let it jump out. Let it jump out. In the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Every arrow of the devil. Every arrow of the devil. Every arrow of separation. Oh yeah, we command you. In the name of Jesus, come out of your hiding place. Come out of your hiding place. Arrow of sickness. Arrow of separation. Arrow of Oh yeah, in the name of Jesus, come out from that place. Come out from that place. Come out from that place. In the name of Jesus. 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 All the families that have been put aside. Oh God, that in the name of Jesus, we come out. Let the fire of the Lord consume that arrow. The fire of the Lord consume that arrow. 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 That arrow of the devil. That implantation of the devil in that family. In our family. We command. Let it be consumed. Let it be consumed. Let it be consumed. Let it be consumed. Let it be consumed, brother. Let it be consumed. Let it be consumed, brother. Let it be consumed. In the name of Jesus. Let that arrow be consumed. Let that arrow be consumed. Let that arrow be consumed. In Jesus. I want to thank God for the way we are praying. We are going to call upon God. The Bible says, every plant which my heavenly father has not planted, he shall be rooted out. Every plant. We want to pray. You see, beloved, let me tell you, let me tell you, we are all pastors, we are all leaders. You see, in some families, at other times, we are careless. At our careless moments, that's when the enemy sow the seed. That's when the enemy plant that plant, that seed. At our careless moment, at our prayerless moment, that's when the enemy come and they do whatever they have done. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, it said the enemy planted it and it went its way. It went its way. It went its way. When we were not careful, when we were not prayerful, when we were not discerning. In fact, in some family, that's why we need the spirit of discernment, 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 discernment. I'm going to call upon the name of the Lord. You see, I, a lot of things are just coming to my mind now. But we want to pray in every family. Maybe we should start with you, brother. Let me let's start with ourselves. We want to pray. Oh God, give me the spirit of discernment. Open your mouth and pray. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Receive the spirit of discernment. Receive it. The spirit of discernment. Receive it. Oh God, give me the spirit of discernment. Give me the spirit of discernment to be able to discern in the name of Jesus. Oh God, give me the spirit and the power of discernment in the name of Jesus. Let me know what is happening in my home. Let me know what is happening in my family. Oh God, I pray. Let me know what is happening. Let me be at the end of our fear. Let me know what is happening in my family. Let me not be blind, oh God, to what is happening in my family. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, give me the spirit of discernment. Oh God, give me the spirit of discernment. Oh God, let me not be ignorant of what is happening in my family. I will not be ignorant. I will not be ignorant of what is happening in my family. In the name of Jesus. Let me be in charge. 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 In the name of Jesus. I want to be in charge. I want to be in charge. I want to be in charge. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We honor you. We reverence you for the way you are leading us, for the way you are helping us. Every Monday, as we pray for the marriages, thank you for our pastor you have used. Father, more strength, more grace you give unto him. And we pray, love for our families. That for our family, our family, we experience heaven on earth in Jesus' name. Amen. As we continue, continue with us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Over now to Pastor Matthew. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. 
Um, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was listening to a woman. She was counseling uh, somebody. And then when she was counseling, the same way Pastor Omarigi spoke now, she spoke in that way. She said, and all the problems always call, come from, from men. Uh, you know, when Pastor uh, Omarigi mentioned now, he mentioned us uh, women. So sometimes I look at it, is it because we are uh, men, we talk in that way. That day I was looking at that particular woman. And I, I to me, I believe because she spoke in that way because she was a, um, a woman. Uh, you know, as Pastor Omarigi spoke, a little carelessness in marriage disturbs something of everlasting that may not have remedy. Uh, in my uh, early stage of uh, Pastor Peter, she told me a lot of things. I mean, he told me a lot of things he went through in his personal marriage. But thank God for somebody like him. He was very, very humble before his wife. That's one thing I learned from him. Um, I don't know if some of us could copy that idea. Why I don't? Why I wanted to see some of us? Maybe I, because uh, I don't want to please myself, and I don't want not so that I will not go extreme. But this man, there are a lot of things he to me. He was very, very humble before his wife, which I jealous a lot uh, but almighty god is going to be guiding every one of us in jesus name so from my experience with the prayer mm. pastor omarigi led when there's no spirit of discernment you get what i'm saying your husband offend you or your wife offend you if you don't quickly make amendment or bring forgiveness into that situation, it's afraid. You know what happened? Many of our parents, they are not from deeper life. They are from traditional church, uh, churches. By the time you grieve them, and it's a lot of things I've experienced. By the time you grieve them, they will they say, okay, if that be the case, I will tell our pastor. The way their pastor is handling cases in their own church is not their, their, the way they are handling it in deeper life. That's the beginning of the problem, I'm telling you. And then, like Pastor Omarigi said, by the time they took that thing, the image of the wife, the image of the, of the husband, they took it to where they wanted to do to, uh, to take it to. He take a special grace by the grace of the Lord for that kind of thing uh, to be come back. Imagine somebody they use padlock, padlock the situation together. That okay, if this kind of the marriage you are having, this is what we want. This is what they, they will padlock it and they will throw it into the river. Then two of you continue to be praying. I've had a lot of experiences. I'm telling you, a lot of experiences. But by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the Bible let me know there is nothing God cannot do. Amen. But one thing that always giving me a uh, fear is that, uh, and I'm very sorry if you are misquoting, GS said, yes, the wound will be ill, but the scar will continue to be there. That scar in the marriage is some of the time major problem, and that's why they always cancel many of us. Do not tell about your 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 problem with the uh, outsider. Do not tell your uh, your problem to the your family. But whereby there is no spirit of discernment, the problem is this: the wife will not have sense, and that's why Pastor uh, Omarewa always lay armor on. Your you husband, you don't have sense that this thing is going out of hand. The wife does not have sense that this thing is going out of hand. Before the tinkle of her eyes, they started in a little way. 
the family has spread it in a spiritual way, then problem starts. Then who is going to know that they have tied two women together somewhere? Who is going to know that they have padlocked your situation somewhere? Then beyond what they can take together. So uh, this is there's a son of thing that needs special uh uh so that we can know that what is going on in the family or when we are counseling that you husband you quickly realize that you don't have any other one except your wife. You don't you quickly realize that you don't have any other one except your husband. Almighty Father for all those people who are going through uh all these kind of things in the marriage, Almighty God is going to help them in Jesus' name. The Bible says, Amen. He will be with us wherever He leads us. But I learned something from GPS. I don't know my what is the time. I think our time has gone. Okay. I learned something from GP, GPS. He mainly he took me to a wrong way. If we correct again, we say, Okay, turn back in this side, turn back to this way, in this side. We now call upon the name of the Lord. For those people who are going through serious things and the marriage want to be, it's not their will. It is not their intention. But because of what happened, the, they are fed up. It's like this marriage should be separated. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. We are ever they must have done wrong. They didn't know that Almighty God should intervene in Jesus' name. And where they, they even know that it is out of flesh, Almighty Father will take control in Jesus' name. Because already they have come unto God, and they have said, God lead us. Let's call upon the name of the Lord for every family, for every individual, for wife, for husband, that is going through a lot of things. Let's call upon Almighty the name Father, of the Lord. Father, we that come before you in the name of Jesus. Holy Father. That we pray, O oh God, that for families, O oh God, that has gone the astray, O oh Lord, bring the past back in the name of Jesus. Holy Father, we pray, every angel work on the family, every angel work on the family, in the family, O God, I pray, we cast you in the name of Jesus. O Lord, I pray, that Father, it has been O God, in our marriages, in the name of Jesus. Father, lift the power, O God, on the rescue of our marriage in the name of Jesus, rescue our family to God in the name of Jesus. We will fight for our women in the name of Jesus. We will go 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 in the name
I know there is nothing, oh God, too big for you. That's why I always sing that song. You can undo it, Father. You can undo it. You can undo it, Father. You can undo it. The problem that is going on in my family, you can undo it. Problem that is taking tears from my eyes, you can undo it. Ik pareka, baba, ik pareka, ik pareka, baba, ik pareka. Bog bog untong bo mi jelo ju me ik pareka. Father, I know you can handle it. I know you can handle it. I know you can handle it. And so, Lord, I pray for every family. Whatever is going on in our family that is not the will of God, whatever is going on in our family that is not the plan of God, whatever is going on in our family that is not the dictate, the direction, the directive of heaven, whatever is going on in our family that is not orchestrated by God, whatever is going on in our family, oh God, that is not designed by God, I pray, oh God, by the power in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the word of God, in the strength of the Holy Ghost, let that thing be swallowed up in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mighty God, I am praying and I'm asking. Many families are experiencing lack. Oh God, I pray. I stand upon the word of God that says our God shall supply all our needs. Every need in the family, every spiritual need, emotional need, sexual need, every need in the family, I pray, Lord, you will supply in Jesus' name. Amen. Mighty God, we come before you. We pray, Lord, that whatever the enemy has done in our family at our careless moment, family that has been padlocked, family that have been locked up, family that have been killed, family that have been bottled, family that have been put in the calabash, Father, I pray that, oh God, hail of fire, fire from heaven, oh God, make, oh God, we thunder, oh God, we come upon all those coverage, all those bottles, and we break them to pieces and release our family, oh God, to go and live the life of heaven on earth, in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh Lord, I pray, all our needs, you will supply. You will meet all our needs. Oh God, I pray you will fight for. Oh God, I pray every plan of the devil, every target of the devil, every design of Satan that our family will break, that our family will scatter, that our family will not be united. Oh God, I pray every plan, oh God, of Satan, every gathering, every fraternity, every brotherhood, every sisterhood, every agreement with the pit of hell to scatter our family, to break our family. Oh God, over every arrow that is shot into the family that is working right now in the wife or in the husband or in the children oh god i pray i arrest them with the blood of jesus and i pray oh god the blood that speak a better thing than the blood of Abel, the blood of the everlasting covenant let that blood of jesus swallow them up in jesus name amen father i proclaim and i declare over our life and family lord we will enjoy our family our Amen. family, who oh God, will be heaven on earth. I Amen. pray that our family will be supplied. All Amen. the nutrients, oh God, that will make our family to grow, to be loving, to be harmonious. Oh Lord, I pray you will supply in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Heavenly Father. We return all the glory to you. Hey, I pray for that brother. As you go out this morning, the presence of the Lord will go with you. The Amen. power of the Lord will rest upon you. Amen. As we go to our individual duty this morning, Morning, I pray that the angels of heaven will walk with you, will guide us, will lead Amen. us, and will not go astray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, I pray for that brother, that brother, that brother. I pray that every letter of disaster, every letter of, 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 of sadness, every letter, oh God, that will bring you down, that will bring down your spirit. Any bad news, any bad news from anywhere that the devil has designed. The one they designed over the night, the one that, that they wrote with blood. 
God over the night. The one they want to bring to your doorstep over the night. I command that letter of disaster in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, I pray, Lord, none of us will struggle. Struggle will not be our portion in the Amen. name of Jesus. As we go out this morning, Amen. let your presence go with us. Let your Amen. power rest upon us. Let Amen. the guidance of the Spirit of God be with us in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you. Please, on Thursday, I was not online. No, that was not. Yeah, let me totally accept that I was not online. My children handled the recording. Uh, I'm not able to see what really happened to the blood of Jesus. But I'm working hard on it to be able to produce it. But yo, please give me time. But I was not there. That day I spoke to Bob Pastor Lee what happened. So please bear with me. I uh, will do what I can do to able to if I can retrieve it. God will help us in Jesus' name. Uh, so uh, let's share the grace together. With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Christ, Lord Jesus Christ. the love of God, the love of God, the kindness of the Holy Spirit, the love 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 of the Holy